This video covers how you can define a specific unit load to an existing product in max load. The first step is to go to this menu option define SKU. Here I need to search for an existing product. I can begin to type it in then use the drop down to locate my item. Once I've selected it, I can come over here to this button create UL. In this new window, the first thing I need to do is select the palette that I want to palletize the product on. There are various options by default. You can also modify and add your own palettes as well. We have a standard 48 by 40 palette. You can change the maximum height, including the palette. Let's make it 53 inches. You can define a maximum weight as well as an amount of overhang. Let's change this to allow zero overhang. I click calculate and that's going to render solutions for me. Maxload ranks the solutions in order of efficiency based on how many cases per unit load it's able to fit. So all these top options here are able to fit 50 cases per pallet. Let's see what we can do by adding one inch of overhang. All right, so that allows us to get up to 60 cases per pallet now. I'm going to select this first solution. Once I'm done, I click OK. And then I save the SKU. Now I can close, navigate to a new truck manifest. I'll need to search my product. Double click to add it. I'm gonna put two unit loads worth of cases in the manifest, so 120. Select the trailer that this needs to be loaded on by double clicking. Now I need to go to this options tab. And here there's this checkbox, use unit loads. This needs to be selected. This adds a new column, UL, to the manifest list. You need to make sure that it's checked. If I uncheck it, it will be floor loaded. If it's checked, it will be palletized. I calculate, and I can view my two unit loads worth of product on the trailer. Thanks for watching.